Hello, and welcome to Bug Week at the University of Florida IFAS, where we look at all sorts of insects and how they might affect you and your family. Today, we're going to be looking at video imagery of several insects magnified five times larger than you normally see them, and that provides an up-close and personal look at these fascinating creatures. We'll start by looking at a close-up view of a honeybee. These bees are just one of several pollinators that are very helpful in helping humans grow food. And as Winnie the Pooh knows so well, these bees certainly do produce honey in their hives. Another helpful insect is the ladybug, which performs a natural process of managing pest insects called biocontrol. Ladybugs eat harmful insects, and that lessens the need for using chemicals or pesticides. This tiny wasp is a stink bug egg parasitoid, and it is laying eggs inside of a stink bug egg. The wasp is able to place her eggs inside of this pest's eggs so that the wasp larvae will develop inside of the stink bug eggs. In doing so, her larvae will destroy the eggs of the pest insects. And after all that hard work of laying eggs, a wasp does have to clean her antenna. Lots of insects eat other insects. Here you see a Florida predatory stink bug eating a beetle grub. That long proboscis you see is acting like a big straw, and that big straw is sucking out the insides of the grub. It might sound gross, but that's life in the insect world. Another beneficial insect is the decapitating forid fly, which attacks invasive fire ants and takes off their heads. Ugh, what a way to go. But getting bitten by fire ants is no fun at all. Here we have a cute little tortoise beetle trying to wake up in the morning. They keep their antenna folded down as they sleep, but when they start to wake up, they use their antenna to check out what's going on around them. Now, we know that spiders are technically not bugs, but you have to admit that they are kind of fun to look at this close. This particular spider is called a spitting spider. On the left, you can see some skin shed by the spider. When spiders get bigger, they move out of their outer skin and the new spider emerges. When they first come out, they're still a little bit soft. So these are just some examples of the type of bug week action we have in store for you. Remember to keep checking the UF IFAS Bug Week website for all the details.